Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to 13 Days of Halloween. It is Teresa from Teresa Silhouette Spot for All Things Art, where I love sharing art from my heart and teaching creators and crafters how to paint for fun and profit and celebrate Halloween. So hi, everyone. How's everybody doing? Last night, we had that really nice um, sugar skull from Marion. Yes, my friend Marion from Creators Corner Studio. Um, tonight, I'm doing this. I posted a picture of it. I don't know if you can see it. Some of it's a little light. I think it's time for a new tracing piece of graphite paper, which I've probably used, you know, 500 times. If I get my money's worth out of that tracing paper. So anyway, I have this ready to go. I need one. Nope, not that color. I forgot to get out this blue. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> so this, what I love about this one too, there's only, well, there's always black and white. And that's why they're in the mustard and ketchup containers. And then there's only five other colors, you guys. So very simple. This is a kid-friendly one. Um, I don't have a tracer for it because it's not my design. But you could easily, if you are a woman of a certain age like me, you probably did butter, butter. bubble lettering back in school. Did you bubble letter you and your boyfriend's name? Teresa and... Let's just say John because it's whatever. Teresa and John forever in bubble letters. So that's all this is. So this is bubble letter, B-O-O, -O, with the middle being a pumpkin, of course, jack-o'-lantern, and then a hat on the last O, okay? So when you hop on, say hello, and we will get started painting. I'm going to get out this color here, my Prussian blue that is almost empty, but we'll make it work. So how is everyone today? TGIF y'all, TGIF. So I have um, lots going on. I'm gonna get out a little bit of black, even though this one color here, this Prussian blue that I have is really a very, very dark purple. I'm gonna use the black as well. And then a little bit of white where I want to, um, oh, lighten it up a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, and I need a brush. Here we go. Not that one, just this one. I will need a liner brush, so I'll get that out. And we will get started. Let me set my um, camera up here because you know I always forget to do my time lapse. And then I'm like, you guys, you didn't remind me to do time lapse. So there we are. We are ready to go. So I have my paint out. I have a bright orange. In this case, it's jack-o'-lantern. I have yellow light. I have lime green. And I have um, purple pizzazz. And you can see they are deco art and plaid colors. Um, it's the colors I have, the colors I like. And I will get started painting. Let me do this do, do, do. okay let me just put a comment in here because when I put a comment I feel like then I can easily see if other people are popping on it is dinner time for a lot of people so I don't know if um oh you know I did those but that's not gonna matter if we can expect to see anyone but that's okay if you're watching on the replay um, put hashtag replay So I picked up a little white because I want my letters to have a little bit of a highlight around them. So I'm adding a little bit of white next to the letters and the shapes, and then I'll get darker. And then in the background, I'm going to add some, um, I mean, in the corners, I'm going to add some black. But right now I'm just going around and I'm outlining the main shape. If you just tapped on here, this is a really good um, painting for children. Our 13 days of Halloween continues with, um, it ends tomorrow. If you guys have uh, missed it or you didn't see any of the replays, I did a Hocus Pocus. And I did um, the Cat in the City the other night. There is a tracer and the supply list for Cat in the City. If you missed that, um, you can put, uh, I think you could put tracer 
in the comments and I'll get you the tracer and the supply list for Cat in the City. Okay. Down on the bottom, I'm not going to add too much white to the bottom because theoretically the bottom would be darker, correct? So if you see these little triangles I'm painting over, those were candy corns. And I really didn't have to trace them on here because I'm going on here with such a dark background. You're not even going to see them. So I'll just draw them in later or paint them in later or something. Okay, not gonna worry about it. And then up in here in the corners is where I'm adding a little bit of black, just to darken it up a little bit. Okay, a little too much. And let me see if I can get in here nice and neat with the hat. So did you guys like 13 Days of Halloween? I really did. And I'm already thinking of how we can do a Christmas one. And I know everybody's like, oh, that's so easy, 12 days of Christmas. Yes, I understand that. But um, painting the 12 days of Christmas can be a little challenging to people. And I want to invite people on here that feel safe and secure in whatever it is that they're going to paint. So I have to might have to work on that a little bit because I don't want... I don't want what we have to paint and create to be a deterrent to my friends and my other creative people not coming on here. <clears throat> okay. So again, I am outlining these bubble letters. If you were a child of the 70s and the 80s, you know exactly what bubble letters are. And you can draw out this simple little word like I did with the letter is BOO, B-O-O, and have your own little tracer for either you just to paint for fun, or maybe to put a sign up on your door for trick-or-treaters, or maybe if you have littles or grandchildren, they would love to paint this with you. I'm actually going this week to Maryland to babysit for my niece's kids. So I will be, well, not, well, this week, yes. This week I'm going to Maryland. I'm going to my friend Angie's. Angie and I have space in um, some storefronts in, doot, 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 in um, Virginia. And we are going to stock them for Christmas. So you guys, if you saw outside my office right now, outside the door that's over there in the corner, it's a mess. There is stuff piled every which way. It is a total mess of stuff that I need to bring to Maryland this week to put in the store. And if you're in the Virginia area, they are called um, Lazy Daisy. There's a number of them. And Angie and I happen to be in the one in Spotsylvania, which is a kind of cool name considering it is Halloween, and um, Leesburg. I have about 65 or 70 ornaments that I am going to tag when I get off of this live tonight. Yes, you heard that right. 65 or 70 ornaments that I'm going to tag when I get off of here tonight. All right, so now I'm just going back in. I'm picking up a little bit more white. I want to blend my highlight in here a little bit more from where I did the outlining. Get around my um, pumpkin and the hat. Oh, I got to get in there a little bit. Don't get in under there. There's a little spot under the hat that I missed. Oops. Okay. And I need my little liner brush for that. Okay. 
Okay, I'm not going to worry about highlighting it too much in there because it is under the hat. So I'm just going to lighten it up a little bit, but it doesn't have to be as light as it is around the rest of the pumpkin. Okay, and there we go. We have it all traced out there. Righty. So what do you guys think so far? Well, let me see. Handmade. Hey, aren't we supposed to be in the air right now? Yeah. Hello, Marion. I was just talking about you and your sugar skull from last night and how cool it was. If you guys are on here, you could see. Um, hey, hey, hey. That's me. Hey, Angie. Hey, Amy. Um. I tell you, this was the first time I've organized something like this, and I had a lot of fun, you guys. I think it was a lot of fun doing this um, 13 Days of Halloween, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Let me see. Now I'm going to get out a little bit of this lime green. Any really bright green will work. You know, and it's really... Oh, you know what I forgot? Um... It's really any colors that you like. And I mean, it says boo, so you want to use Halloween colors for sure. Um, but if you... wanted to do the background at more of a purple, or this would look really good. The background of this would look really good even if it were white, because the bright colors on the letters are awesome. So if you have a child home and they're gonna paint this and you're just painting it on a white canvas. Oh, it's nice my phone is now making a message. I thought I shut that off, I guess not. So, um, we'll just ignore that for now. Don't listen. So anyway, um, so if yes, if you have a child at home they can paint this on a canvas board, on a canvas, on regular copy paper, and you can leave the background white. They don't have to paint the whole thing because if you're just gonna do the lettering, the lettering is so vibrant, it'll just totally pop on a white background. I forgot to do the insides of my letters, so that's what I'm just doing now. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. All right. Now, hey, Debbie, thanks for hopping on. I'm doing a little uh, Halloween sign for our 13 days of Halloween. Now, if I think my white and my blue are too wet, I will get my dryer out. We shall see, because I don't want to start pulling in those colors onto my letter. I want my letter to be really green and pop, but I think I'm okay. Okay. Hey, Barbara. Thanks for hopping on. So this, with 13 Days of Halloween, I did a Hocus Pocus, and the other night I did this one. Cat in the shitty. I have a tracer for the cat and a supply list. If you want that, just put um, tracer in the comments and I will get you the link for that later on when I'm done. Okay. That was a fun one for Halloween. That's actually pretty kid friendly too. So the middles are a little wet, so I got to be careful here. There we go. So, it's like I have a million things going on here. So I have Halloween. Tomorrow's the last day of 13 days of Halloween. And then if you just step right outside my office, you will see Christmas. Christmas galore. 
Tonight when I hop off of this, I'm gonna sit and tag ornaments. I'm heading to Maryland this week um, to my friend Angie's and we're gonna go restock our storefront that we have in actually Virginia. So I'm traveling to Maryland and then on to Virginia from there. I might need a smaller brush. <clears throat> And then I am babysitting for my niece's children next weekend. Thanks, Angie. I'm glad you were a part of it. Angie did these really cool um, Halloween wood block characters last week. That really you could do them on, you could, if you had canvas, scrap wood, whatever you have. She did a mummy a ghost, a jack-o'-lantern, and a Frankenstein. And they were really cool. That was a fun project too. So thanks, Angie. So we had Angie from ADP Design Studios. Let me see if I can remember. We had Angie from ADP, ADP Design Studios. We had Amy from Wix Wax Candle. We had June from Created with Love by June Bug. We had Teresa Crane from Jeremiah Dreams. Um, I'm missing somebody. We had uh, Rhonda from Colorful Crochet. Isn't that green and blue cool? We had Rhonda from Colorful Crochet. Then we had Amanda from Simply for Amazing. And then I went again, I did Cat in the City. Then we had, well, we were supposed to have Christy E. Creations with jewelry, but um, I'm trying to switch my camera here. Our Christy E. Creations was a, was a little under the weather. So if you missed it, I made these cool skull earrings on Tuesday for 13 days of Halloween. Um, I'm not a jewelry maker, you guys. It was quite comical. I boinged some beads around a few times and I kept calling them skeleton heads. Okay, so, and I'm like, I'm, as I'm saying skeleton head, skeleton head, I'm like, this doesn't sound right. I don't know what it is. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here, but you know, I'm in the whole theme. I'm in, you know, just in my painting zone. And then I realized afterwards, I'm like, they're skulls. What were you saying skeleton head for? They're skulls. <laughs> so that was a little embarrassing. But anyway, so yeah, so I made these earrings on Tuesday then on Wednesday, we had Michelle Baker from Divine Designs. And last night, we had Marion from um, Creator's Corner. She did that really fun sugar skull. Sugar skull. Sugar, sugar skull. Again, with the skeleton. Sugar skull. There we go. So it has been a great, great event, you guys. And um, yes, I will be putting something together. Oops, I dropped a brush. I have to get it. I'll be putting something together, I think for Christmas. I don't know, we have to see. I don't know if it's going to be um, me, if I'm gonna do it with my collab gals, if we're gonna do it um, here, I'll decide. But for now, um, I'm gonna do the purple first. I'm gonna let my green over there dry a little bit. So I'm gonna come over here to the purple, oh. And it's kind of like a donut. Or maybe it's like a sort of a gnome. I guess it could be kind of like a donut. Maybe it's like the trick or treat treat is a donut. I don't know. I never got donuts trick or treating, but. If you missed my jewelry, Angie, it's on the replay. You can go back and watch it. It literally is only about 19 minutes. Um, but clearly it was a success. Oh, I forgot to turn you guys around. Clearly it was a success because I made these earrings. So that's what counts, right? So. So like I said, this art here is kid friendly just as is but if you were so inclined and a little bit more of an advanced painter even though it's a 
kid-friendly project. You can come in here and add some shading under the hat and a little bit more detail work. And then that's what helps your art stand out. You know, um, a beginner or somebody younger would not be um, doing that. They would just be basically blocking, color blocking and painting according to the color and the section. But that's what's fun about this because you can take this simple painting and come in and add a little bit of shading to it and kick it up a notch. And I'm just going around the bottoms of these letters and I went around the bottom of the whole entire B just to give a little bit of shading in there. All right, and I think my green is pretty dry, so um, I'm gonna go into my orange. And I, I might have lied a little bit, you guys, because I need a little brown. I didn't put any brown, but I'm gonna need a little bit of brown, but just a little bit. Just put a little dot, okay? Oh, and into my orange. So did you guys see my shirt? I put this shirt on because it's orange and we're doing 13 days of Halloween. But did you see what it says? It says Kenda Cruz. Kenda is for um, Detective Lieutenant Joe Kenda from Homicide Hunter. It was a show on the ID channel. It's not on anymore. Well, you can watch it in reruns, replays, or on, is it on Netflix? I don't know. Um, but it was on the ID channel. They do run these marathons every once in a while. I am a true crime buff. And two years ago, two years ago, 19, yep. Actually, three years ago now, wow. Me and APHFM went on a fan cruise to Canada. We had a wonderful time. We met this great couple from Georgia that I still keep in touch with. She thinks I'm a hoot, you guys. That was the first time I ever heard that. And they were really nice people. We've actually only seen them once since then, but um, I, we plan on seeing each other again. Probably going on vacation again too, if we can work it out. Now that you know things are subsided, if you if you get my drift. Okay. So I want to shade in my pumpkin here. So I just picked up a little bit of brown. Okay, and I'm adding in a little bit of brown to the outside and to my ribs. Are they pumpkin ribs? Do you call them ribs? There we go. And I think I did a little too much in here, so let me fix that. Okay, I'm gonna get my little brush, I'm gonna get total brown. I'm gonna come in here with the stem. Okay. Hey, Christy. I was just bragging, I was putting my brag on about my earrings. So there's my friend Christy. She was the one, if you want to drop your um, page in here, Christy, go right ahead, please, because we missed you for 13 days of Halloween. Um, that is my friend Christy from Christy E Creations. Uh, she did, um, she does chain mail jewelry and she was not able to make it the other night. So I stood in and made these really cool skull earrings. Anyway, all right, now I'm, I'm gonna add a little bit of white to my orange over here because orange, reds, yellows tend to be a little opaque. And I want my orange here for the hat 
to be a little bit more, um, op uh, I mean, they tend to be a little translucent. I want my orange to be a little bit more opaque. So I added a little bit of white to it. I think it's gonna need a second coat anyway. And I just have this little tiny brush and I'm adding some stripes here to the hat. I love these colors, you guys. I love how the orange and the green just work together and then against the blue background. But like I said, even if you wanted to have a um, white background, if you're painting this and you didn't want to paint the background or you just wanted to add a little white, I mean, you just wanted to paint your design onto the white, that's fine too. There you go, Christie's E Creations, handcrafted chainmail jewelry. Yes, these colors really, really pop. A little more so too, I think, with the highlighting that I did around the actual letters. I turn it upside down for a second, you guys. So when I saw this online, I'm like, that is such a cute one. I'm going to do that. We'll see what I do tomorrow for um, our last day together for 13 days of Halloween, you guys. That is tomorrow, our last day. I'm sorry. But you know what? It's not my last day to be live with you guys. You'll be seeing more of me. Don't fret. I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna paint the belt part purple. So I'm gonna have to go over the middle again with purple. I just leave that like that to dry down. Okie dokie. Okie dokie artichokey. All right. Let me get some fresh white. I'm going to go in. I'm going to start. I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to base coat a few triangles. And you know what they're going to be for, right? Yeah. We're going to add a little bit of candy corn to our painting and because we have such a dark background and one layer of our candy corn is white anyway I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna put in these little base coats of white triangles for our candy corn. Who likes candy corn, yay or nay? I'm not a big fan of the candy corn. I'm more of a um, dark chocolate person, chocolate and peanut butter person. Um, that's it. Oreo person, who doesn't like Oreos? <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna come in here with this and in keeping with how we highlighted onto the blue of our green, I'm adding in some white highlight also to our letter. There we go. Okay, Need my liner brush. I'm gonna come in and in here is going to be a 
a spider web. So there we go, we got our spider web. Then we're going to have it come down like this. And we're gonna put a little bit of a spider. There. Let's get my little black out again. Give him some little spider legs. And give a little bit of white dots for his eyes. So there we have our spider looking really cool in the bottom there. Love chocolate and peanut butter. Nay to candy corn, love chocolate and peanut butter. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so we have our bee, we have our spider, we have our spider web. All right, I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna do a second coat of orange, I think, on my pumpkin. It's looking a little translucent. I want to brighten it up a little bit. So I'm just going to come in here and I'm doing my strokes the same way, following the shape of my pumpkin. And it's not really taking over my shading at all with the brown. I could add more shading, but it's good for now. And I'm just going in and I'm doing a second coat of the orange on here because I think that looks much better. There we go. What do you guys think? Think it looks better? All right. I'm gonna do the same with my purple here. This is one of my favorite purple. I think it's pizzazz. Purple pizzazz, yes it is. Okay. Why am I doing this with such a tiny brush? I don't know, I guess it was the brush I had out at the moment. And again, I added some shading to the bottom here before I decided to do a second coat, but I'm not gonna go over that. I'm just coming close. And we're not going to worry about that. And then we have to fix this here for the belt. Okay, cool. All righty, all righty, all righty, all righty. Let's get out a little bit of yellow. And I'm going to start working on my candy corn. Got to let my orange dry before I can do my jack o' lantern. What the heck? And what is wrong with my yellow? I'll let the orange dry before I can do my jack-o'-lantern. We gotta let the purple dry before I can do the decorations on there. And I'm gonna get out a little bit of yellow and my little brush again. So lucky for you guys that this will be available on the replay. I like to skip around to keep it moving. So if you want to paint this again at another time, or you didn't even paint it with me now, so you just want to paint it one time for yourself, don't worry, it stays here on the replay. And then you can hop in and out, you can pause it, you can come back, you can watch it and paint it at your leisure, at your time, at your speed, whatever you choose to do. In my group, um, Teresa's Spot for Step-by-Step -step Art, I do a painting in there once a month, so if you're not in my group, you could join. It's Teresa's Spot for Step-by-Step -step Acrylic Art, and every month you get a supply list and a tracer and a video, and there's a probably about 16 or 17 
in that page already um, for you to watch at your leisure and paint if you want. So I'm doing my eyes here for my jack-o'-lantern. I'm just filling them in. We're going to add a little bit of black shadow to them when we're done, but we want to let our yellow dry a little bit. Okay. And then our mouth. There's a million ways you can do a jack-o'-lantern, you guys. There's really no rhyme or reason to it. You can do any kind of shape for the mouth or the nose, whatever you want. It can be as creative or not as you want to be. So there we go with my jack-o'-lantern face for now. Look how that, that yellow just like pops on there. All right, I'm back to my small brush. And I'm gonna, now I'm gonna start with the orange part of our candy corn. And look how easy that is. I'm just pulling it across. So I did these little white triangles and then I'm just going back in and I'm adding in the next layer, which is the orange. They don't have to be perfect, you guys. I'm going to go around. I'm going to add in some little, uh, what do you call it? Black outlining to it, and that'll clean up everything. So I'm picking up some black now and I'm just swirling it into my donut here. Just making a little bit of a design. I'm being random. You guys know how hard it is for me to be random. But I'm working on it. Me and random, work in progress, right? So I am just going to, I put my brush in a little bit of water, I'm going to thin up this green a little bit, and I'm going to add some curly cues to my pumpkin. Okay. Just like that. Then I'm going to get, I don't like that little brush I've been using, I'm going to get a different brush. Oops back into my green a little bit. Uh, pick up a little bit of yellow. And I want to add a leaf to my pumpkin. We have the curly cues. We can add a few more leaves up here. Oh, what happened to my brush? That's not good. Okay. Now, because I dropped my brush, I'm going to put another leaf there and there. Get a little bit more yellow.
See, you have a, you have a little error there? Don't worry about it. Just add a leaf, right? I want to get a little bit of highlight around the center here. I need a little water. When I'm using my liner brush and I want to make these thin curly Q lines, you want to get a little bit of water, just a little bit, like the tip of the brush, and then mix it in here, and you want to thin it up a little bit. So now I'm just going in here and I'm just doing these little swirlies. in the middle of these in the donut, okay? There we go. Oh, you know what? We can't really see our spider legs. So let's add a little bit of highlight to our spider legs. There we go. And I'm going to come in here, I'm going to start adding in a little bit of outline. So at 7 o'clock tonight, you guys, I signed up with a local library here to watch ghost stories of Long Island. So that is going to be on at seven. I can't wait to watch it. It's on Zoom too. So that should be cool. Looking really cool. Get a little white highlight up in here. And on the belt buckle. The little curl. I should add a little bit of black here. I missed that. Okay. I'm going to go in. I'm just going to add a little bit of black to two sides of my corn. The bottom and one of the triangular sides. I don't think we need to go in and outline the whole thing. Just adding a little bit of shadow to the two sides I think works. And then I'm just going, I'm trying not to see where I can rest my hand. I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna Put a little shading and outlining. Around the jack-o'-lantern face. And there we go. I'm going to put a little bit of white highlight in there and maybe a little bit on the I'm just lightly pulling in stems here to my leaves we could do the brown for that or the black I use the um, black I think that'll do it, you guys. So, let's pull you guys up. There we go. Oh, thanks, Angie. Thanks for sharing that. So, here is my boo. 
I hope you enjoyed that. Like I said, this is a very, except for like a few things, my vines look like horns, don't they? Well, I guess it is a um, Halloween picture. Hmm, a little too symmetrical there. I told you, it's so hard for me to be random. Anyway, so this is very kid-friendly painting. You can do it on um, canvas board. You can just do it on regular photo paper. And all the B-O-O -O is nothing but bubble letters from back in the day when we used to, you know, write our names in bubble letters. I'm sure I can still write Teresa in bubble letters on anything if I chose to. So that is it for tonight. Tomorrow is the last day. I'm going to be here in the morning. I think it's 10 a.m. tomorrow for um, the last day of our 13 days of Halloween. And if you want, you can go back. This was Mondays of mine. There's a tracer and supply list for this. Um, thank you, Barbara. And if you want the tracer and supply list, you just put um, tracer in the comments. And then this is what we kicked it off with. Just a bunch of hocus pocus. Now this is a wood cutout, but if you wanted to paint it, you could paint it on a canvas. I do not have a tracer or anything for this because I do not share stuff like this. This is licensed, but who doesn't love hocus pocus? So I have to paint it. I just can't contribute to you painting it, but you can find your own stuff out there in the interweb, okay? So thank you guys. And um, wait, my decorations are falling. Okay, I got to fix my decorations a little bit. So, oh, you guys, I forgot. I have my decorations. I forgot my costume. Hmm. How's that? Oh, well, I won't forget it tomorrow. I'll leave them right here on my desk. Anyway, love you guys. I will see you here in the morning. I think it's at 10, but I'll put a post up here before that. Have a great night, everyone.